There's no doubt about that. So the pure devotees, the eter eternally liberated, the Nitya Siddhas, they are always swimming in the ecstatic ocean of bliss, of service to Krishna. There's not a dull moment in that situation. Every moment is a, a, an opportunity for us to realize Nava Nava Rasa. You know, when we are in the waves of the ocean, we sometimes, you know, drink the salty waters of the ocean. But imagine a, an ocean which is full of kheer, sweetness, nectar. And we are able to drink that nectar every, every moment. And the flavor keeps increasing and increasing and increasing with every wave when we are swimming in that beautiful ocean. We never want to come out from that. So that is what the pure devotees, the siddhas, the nitya siddhas, that's what they are experiencing. They are swimming in that ocean of transcendental bliss. So Krishna, to them, he does use his vakchaturta. He does use his beautiful vachana, his beautiful sweet words, his mesmerizing words. You know, Krishna uses different kinds of words for different category of his nitya siddhas. Like to his servitors, Krishna is very kind upon his servants, very, very kind. He does not treat them, you know, like a master. He treats them very lovingly, very kindly. You know, those servants who at the palace of Nanda Maharaj, who bring him water, who bring him, you know, fresh water, water for his bath, who arrange for his bath, who take care of, you know, laying out all of, you know, Krishna's bed, making out Krishna's bed. All of these servants, Krishna personally goes and thanks each and every one of them. And that's what motivates to keep, you know, for them to keep going again and again and again. Krishna is very kind, very, very kind. Nothing goes unnoticed from Krishna's vision. Everything Krishna notices and he reciprocates. The way Krishna reciprocates with his sakhas, oof, that is so amazing. There Krishna really uses his vakchaturta. One time the gopas told Krishna, Krishna, you cheat us so much. Every day you cheat us. And Krishna said, really? He made puppy eyes to, you know, Sridam, Sudam, Madhu, Mangal. He said, really? No, I don't do that. I never cheat. I am a very, very obedient son of Maharaj Nanda. I never cheat in games. What are you talking about? And then Sridam, Sudam and Madhavangal, they're thinking, yeah, Krishna would never do that. Although every single day, every single game that Krishna plays, he always cheats. But because as soon as Krishna makes these beautiful puppy eyes and he, you know, these beautiful sweet words come out of his mouth, the friends are confused. He said, yeah, yeah, we are only wrongly accusing you, Krishna. Okay, okay, come. You don't cheat. You, We accept that you don't cheat. No, no, you are not a cheater. You come. Let's play now. Let's play. Okay, so we'll play now. And whoever is the loser will carry the other party on their shoulder. Deal? Krishna says, yeah, yeah, deal, deal, deal. Come, let's go play. So then Krishna starts playing. And then, of course, he cheats. And then by his cheating also, he still loses. And when he loses, then Sri Dham, Sudam, Madhu, Mangal, all the boys, they're all laughing and jumping in ecstasy. Oh, today Krishna is going to carry us on his shoulder. And then Krishna says, you know what? While playing, I just hurt my knee so badly. And I'm look, I'm limping. I'm not able to walk. How will I carry you on my shoulder? Can you please carry me? The Sakhas say, oh, really, Kanha? You hurt your knee? Where? Show? And then Kanha shows, you know, like a bruise manifest. And he says, look, look, I, I had this. How will I carry you? So then the Sakhas say, no problem, Kanha. You come on our shoulder. No problem. It's okay. So then they start carrying Krishna on, his, on their shoulder. And they are taking him, taking him. And then Krishna suddenly forgot about all his, you know, the bruises and everything. And then he suddenly started interacting with the monkeys. Dadi Loba and everyone, they were laughing and they were, you know, they were seeing all this, witnessing all this fun activities and they were all laughing. And then the Sakhas realized that, hey, what's wrong with Krishna? Why is he not any longer in pain? And then the Sakhas realized, hey, that bruise, 
which was manifest so badly, it suddenly disappeared. Krishna, you cheated us again. And then Krishna is he's laughing. He said, see, I cheated you. Now you come on my shoulder. Come, come, I'll take you. So this is how Krishna does his Vakshaturta, his beautiful, you know, vachana, his sweet words. He mesmerizes the cowherd boys.